called Pudding. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? What comes next? Oh yeah, will I be rich? That's almost pretty, depending on where you shop. <laughs> and the pretty question infects from conception, passing blood and breath into cells. The word hangs from our mother's hearts in shrill, fluorescent floodlight of worry. Will I be wanted, worthy, pretty? So if you already left me in this funhouse mirror triad, teeth set at science fiction angles, crooked nose, facey face donkey long, and pox marked with the hormones, face painted. My poor mother. How could this happen? You will have porcelain skin as soon as we can see a dermatologist. You sucked your thumb, that's why your teeth look like that. And you were hit in the face with a frisbee when you were six, or your nose would be perfectly fine. Don't worry. We will get it fixed, she would say, twisting my face this way and that, as if it were a cabbage she might buy. But this is not about her, not her fault. She too was raised to believe the greatest asset she could bestow upon her awkward little girl was a marketable facade. By the time I was 16, I was pickled with ointments, medications, peroxides, teeth corralled and steel prongs, laying in a hospital bed, face packed with gauze, cushioning the brand new nose the surgeon had to call. Belly gorged on two pints of my own blood that I swallowed under anesthesia in every convul convulsive twist of my guts, like my body screaming at me from the inside out, what didn't you let them do to you? All the while this never-ending chorus drone, droning on like the IV dripping liquid blood, liquid beauty into my blood. Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? Like my mother unwrapping the bouquet of daughter her ten gram bought her. Pretty. And now I have not seen my own face in 10 years. I have not seen my own face in 10 years. But this is not about me. This is about the submulating circus we have painted ourselves clowns in, about women who will prowl 30 stores in six malls looking for the right cocktail dress, but have no idea where to find fulfillment or how to wear joy, about wandering through life, shackled to a shopping bag beneath those two pretty syllables. About men wallowing on bar stools, surely practicing attraction. And everyone who will drift home tonight crestfallen because not enough strangers found you suitably fuckable. Mm. This is about my own someday daughter. When you approach me, already stung stained with insecurity, and you ask me, Mom, will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? I will wipe that question from your mouth like cheap lipstick and answer no. The word pretty is unworthy of everything you will be. And no child of mine will be contained in five letters. You will be pretty intelligent. You will be pretty creative. You will be pretty amazing. But you will never be merely pretty.